As Trenton lawmakers scrounge for budget revenues, Assembly Speaker Craig Coughlin's reviving a rare tactic to raise much-needed dollars. He's proposing a state tax amnesty program that would run for three months starting this July 1st. This is money that's already due and owing to the state of New Jersey. Uh, we're going to get it sooner than we might otherwise. Uh, it, it has the advantage of encouraging people to do it by eliminating some of the potential penalties. Uh, and doesn't, uh, doesn't, us, doesn't require us to increase taxes on anybody uh, and doesn't require us to, to cut anything. Past amnesties have raised significant pots of money varying from $75 million in 2014 to $725 million in 2009 to $277 million in 2002. Coughlin expects to hit the middle ground with revenue intended for fiscal year 2019. I would think that conservatively we can look probably in that $200 million range, which is real money. The proposed amnesty period would cover January 1st, 2014 through December 31st, 2016. Delinquent payers would have to pony up their overdue taxes plus interest, but the state would waive recovery fees, civil and criminal penalties. After the amnesty, a 5% penalty awaits those who don't pay. Coughlin mentioned people do hit rough patches. People have lost their jobs, people have businesses have uh, failed, but they want to pay their taxes. Uh, here's a way uh, to help them in that respect. An amnesty bill could shake up already volatile budget negotiations over taxes. In a statement, Senate President Steve Sweeney endorsed the amnesty idea immediately to generate state revenue without raising taxes. It's a thoughtful proposal that will help New Jersey address the fiscal challenges we face in a resourceful and responsible way. Sweeney said he'd make sure it cleared the legislature. But Governor Murphy is pushing hard for tax increases, $1.7 billion worth, to fund a laundry list of programs, he cautiously called amnesty a good idea that merits consideration. We think it's got a lot of uh, elements to it that are attractive. I was thrilled to see the speaker uh, talk about it. I, li I like the Senate president saying that he was also thought that was a, a good consideration. The only hesitation that we've got is we're trying like heck to get away from relying on one-off um, solutions, so that's a, that's a concern. But Assembly Minority Leader John Bramnick criticized the proposal as raising taxes at the wrong time and letting people who didn't pay taxes off the hook. And Senate Minority Leader Tom Kane Jr. claimed it set a bad precedent and could also force other taxpayers to shoulder an even greater burden. But some local Republicans in Point Pleasant Beach gave their approval grudgingly. Is it fair? No, it's not fair. But if it does get money into the coffers, everyone needs it, especially New Jersey, I'm all for it. Democrats, of course, can pass this without Republican votes. And if the governor is on board, it means a summer of tax amnesty in New Jersey. At Point Pleasant Beach, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.